Eight local insurance companies have joined the Insurance Association of the British Virgin Islands to reform and galvanize support due to the challenges that both the industry and the insuring public face. The primary purpose of the association on behalf of the British Virgin Islands domestic insurance industry is to promote an insurance market that is viable and strong to better serve the insuring public, says President of the Association, Sarah Hatcher, of Century Insurance Agency, Najico. Well, we've already been involved in some things already. We're able to work with the IFC at the Schools Expo, um, where we did a presentation to the children there. Um, they all went around the different uh, financial services industries, and the Insurance Association was one of the uh, presenters. Um, our aim there was to let the children know exactly what insurance was about in terms of them thinking about it as a viable job opportunity in the future. We've got over 14 companies um, um, on the island and so there's a lot of um, opportunities in terms of work. So we wanted to let them know what qualifications they would need, um, what courses they would need to do at college, what qu further qualifications they can do afterwards if they were interested in in, the, in that sort of thing. So that's the first thing we've been involved in. Um, we've also been working with the disaster management and the money matters um, part of the Financial Services Commission um, in helping their rainy day campaign. Um, obviously they're very keen in terms of making sure that people have um, adequate um, insurance um, should a disaster happen such as you know with the hurricane we're now into the hurricane season. So we've been helping them in terms of sort of awareness about insurance, helping people to understand their policies, whether they've got the right cover, that sort of thing. The Insurance Association was incorporated on April 3rd, 2014 by a resolution of its members and plans to help the public better understand the role of insurance by looking at issues such as the introduction of the National Health Insurance Scheme and potential challenges in the legislation to the anti-money laundering regulations, among other issues. I think insurance companies are always sometimes seen as a little bit of a the bad guy. I mean, it's one of those kind of almost necessary evils that you need to have, and nobody really likes paying out insurance because, um, you know, at the end of the day, especially if you don't have a claim, it's just money that you're you're paying out. But but on the other hand, you know, it's nice to have that feeling of a safety net that you know that the insurance company is there. So I think what we need to do is, is help people understand that the insurance companies are there for people in time of need um, and that, that you know, if they do have a genuine claim, we want to help them in terms of processing that claim. The Insurance Association of the BVI was formed in 2007 but has been dormant. Since last November, the association has been holding meetings to gain support and momentum and to draft a constitution for the association. Vice President, Education and Training Officer is Antoinette Morgan of Alfonso Warner Insurance Agency, Treasurer Helen James of Hyperion Risk Solutions, and Public Relations and Lobbying Officer Ruth Phillips of Caribbean Insurers Limited. Membership is open to domestic insurance companies, insurance agents, insurance brokers, and loss adjusters.